Ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is f is 2 comma 9, e is going to be negative 1 comma 6. And let me just read, go back to the directions. So it says, find the coordinates of the missing endpoint if e is the midpoint of df. So therefore, I have a, a line segment where it says d, f. And I need to find, find the coordinates of the missing endpoint if e is the midpoint. So I have. Um, well, here, let's go and look at it here. So let's plot these real quick. I have 2, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then E is negative 1, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, so that's F. That's E, right? And what they're saying is E is the midpoint. Yes? Yes? E is the midpoint. And they watch, what they want you to do is find the other endpoint. So if here's the midpoint, that means E is in the middle, correct? So that means there's a line that goes like this. And there's another point right there. But we need to be able to figure that out. What exactly is that point, right? So a couple things what we can do is to look at this is if we know that this is the midpoint, we know that this is going to be the average between our of two points, right? Yes? OK. So there's a couple, you know, there's a couple ways, um, ladies and gentlemen, to do this. I'll just give you one example. If you kind of go over, to go from this point to this point, you see you're going over 1, 2, 3. And then you're going up 1, 2, 3. So you're going over 3, up 3. Kind of remember slope, right? So if you go over 3, up 3, and that takes you to the middle, what do you think you're going to have to do now to get to the next point? Go up 3 again and over 3. So without even looking at it, you guys are going to say, oh, well, if I go up 3 again, 10, 11, 12, and then now go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now you're at 5, comma, 12. And there's your point D. All right, I'll show an algebra, algebraic way uh, with another class. OK, there you go. All right, guys, we need to.